Welcome to Animal School Part 2. The first time we got to go to Animal School, we got to work with a lioness, a grizzly bear, and a tiger. But while we were there, there was a six-month-old white lion that had just come in from South Africa. Now, supposedly there's only 35 of these in the world. And of course, when Diana saw this, she just went bonkers. She wanted to play with him. His name was Lufano. And so when April came around, I called them and they said he was ready to play. And we went and we spent a few hours with Louie. Now needless to say, we were extremely excited. And when we got there, Jet and the owner himself, Brian, were working with us and the lion. When we first stepped in, the lion needed to be on a leash until he got used to us. And then as soon as he got used to us and came over to us, and accepted us, then the chain was taken off and we spent the rest of the time with a loose lion. Brian showed us how to use the hard strokes to pet a lion. Lions are used to a lot of pressure behind with their licking and their pawing. And we got to put Louie through a lot of his training exercises, like feeding. They did not allow me to bring in my movie camera, but we ended up taking about 998 shots, and some of these I'll put fast enough so that it almost looks like Louie's moving. And I got to feed him too. Here kitty kitty, oh pretty kitty. Now I ask you, for a cat lover like Diana, does it look like she's having a good time? Here Brian gets licked by his cat. And a cat is not really something you want to get licked by because their tongue is meant to scrape meat off a of bone, so it's kind of rough. You can tell by Brian's face. I love this sequence of pictures with Diana. Does she look like she's happy? Does she look like she's having a good time? I would say yes. Look at that. Does that look like a best buddy shot or what? Look at the smile on her face. I love this. As far as Diana is concerned, they're friends for life. Standing next to Brian, who I guess is somewhere around six foot, you can see how tall Louie is. He's probably only half his size right now. Now Diana was really hoping during this whole thing that she'd get to see Louie act like a little kitten. And sure enough, she got her wish. The owner said, Diana, why don't you go stand under that beam and we'll get a picture of you and Louie. Diana goes and stands under the beam and Louie walks across the beam. He falls. I like the intensity of which he's looking at her. After they got him back up and they took him back around, Diana's little head is kind of sticking up above that beam there. And Louis sees it, and he looks at it pretty intently, and he says, hmm, what's this? All of a sudden, beep, hey, how about if I touch you? That kind of scared Diana, because she had already seen him fall. And it kind of scared Brian, too. But fortunately, he didn't put his claws out. He just touched her and... It was pretty funny. And then he's got a rest. And then he plays some more.
And then he's got a rest. Brian told us lions can sleep up to 18 hours a day. I think Diana has something in common with Louie. In fact, I think Diana has a lot in common with Louie. One of the greatest things about this entire encounter was just being able to hang out with the cat and just watch him. It was absolutely amazing. We also got to watch Louie play, and he had a couple of favorite toys. One was this great big green disc that they'd throw, and he'd just bang that thing around. And as you can see, he really looks like he's enjoying himself. And the other was a pony cake, which is a half keg, and he'd knock that thing around like it was a ball of yarn. And boy, he played just like a kitten. It was quite funny. but he would get very intense about things also, and especially when it came to playing with his toys. Or when somebody turned their back on him, oh man. <laughs> and obviously, he's not declawed. It's funny, one of my favorite chapters in the Old Testament is Isaiah 11, because there it talks about the future era where the animals are again our companions the way it was created in the first place. And that's one of the reasons why we enjoy going to animal schools, because we're getting a foretaste of what is to come. It's very exciting, and I just can't imagine. I mean, for Louis to be as great to be around as he is now, what are the animals gonna be like in the future? I can't wait. It's exciting. I think our faces say it all, don't you? And I think Diana has found her soulmate. Remember the part where Louis touched her head? Well, later on going through the pictures, I found that Diana got Louis back and I didn't know it, but the camera caught it. If you look at the grimace on their face as the other is being touched, you'll see that they have a lot more in common. Pretty amazing, huh?